Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of the Wonderful Webulous Project Zomboid. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Let's continue with our Apricot 3.0 save file. I just got finished up playing Broforce, so my, my, my mentality is not in, in Zomboid focus right now, so I'm going to have to force that. Um, I just spent like an hour straight playing Broforce, so I'm going to be recording... Uh, the video for that later. Actually, you guys will probably see it either before or after Zomboid, so who knows when you're going to see it. That game is goddamn good. Just wait till you see the video on it. It's, just, it's very, very, very awesome. Um, freedom. America. Fuck yeah. Anyway, where we left off, we uh, we popped into a house real quick. I th uh, did I loot the hell out of this place yet? It looks like I may have. Um, yeah, it does look like I did. Uh, so we're going to crash here because it's getting late, and we don't really have the time to go anywhere else, and running back in the, uh, during the night time is just dangerous, so I didn't want to really risk it. So we're just going to uh, stay here. We're not going to risk it for a biscuit. It's not really worth risking it for a biscuit. So let's go ahead and crash here, and we'll continue on our way tomorrow. I don't know if we're going to head back right away or if we're just going to continue looting. My thoughts and my feelings go toward continue looting because it's going to be during the day and if we have to spend a few days away from the safe house, it's not really the end of the world so long as we come back with a lot of good stuff. On top of that, we still need to find a hammer, an axe, a saw, and some nails. So there's still a lot of things on our checklist that we need to kind of nick off before I feel comfortable going back. Even if we just get one of them before we end up heading home uh, would be, in my opinion, considered a success. I'd be very happy with just even just one of them. Um, so we do, we do have a Zed over here. Let's go ahead and take him out. I think we came from the north. I'm pretty sure that's the way we came. Let's double check the doors and make sure that's the way we came. Uh, I just don't want to miss out on any buildings and not loot anything in particular. So, yeah, we did. We came this way. All right, good, good. Oh, right, that shack over there. I do remember that shack being over there and uh, being kind of just having nothing in it, nothing useful anyway. Uh, do we have a house nearby? We do have a big house right there. We might be able to sneak in. Do I have any food on me? I do. Let's go ahead and eat the chips for breakfast. Classic, classic Mathis Williams snack. Unfortunately, we're Mathis Kelly now, but you know, every time we eat chips, just memories. Memories. Wonderful. Memories. I make up songs now. Won't you please just tell me you enjoy them? Fuck alarm. I had a feeling. I turned just to see that one zombie over there. I was like, he was over there. He'll start walking this way if an alarm goes off. Lo and behold. An alarm goes off. Let's hope we come across uh, an area down here that maybe the zombies don't actually hear the alarm and we should be alright. Hopefully. It's actually a nice little fence over here. Wait a minute, am I where I think? No, I'm not. Okay. I was hoping this was going to be the house that actually had uh, had some, what do you call it? It had that, like, the fenced-in area. But I think the fence is taller for that, so. Either way, we can loot the hell out over here. Blood spatter, not from me. Can I pop these mailboxes yet? I don't think so. No. Nope. One day they'll be lootable. Let's check the garbage first. Ooh. Zombie over there. Uh, we'll see if we can pop this open and uh, hopefully no alarm goes off. Looks like we're safe. So we'll pop in. Shut the... Mm, dead zombie. Gotta go through quietly and slowly. I just don't, I don't like going into areas that are through windows. It worries me a bit. Okay. Nothing in here. Tight areas worry me. We did get a big hiking bag. That's something we'll reorganize when we get back to our safe house. Come on, have at least some good food in here. If you're not going to give me anything, the other things that I want. At least give me food. A lot of chocolate. That's not a bad thing. And actually, that's, some, that's a decent little haul for food. Especially the non-perishables, which is what I really want. That's actually not too bad at all. Three or four different things. Those add up over time. Let's go ahead and kill this guy and see if we can get into this house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, there's a zombie! Down you go. Is he dead? Jesus Christ. Pistol, we'll take it. Spare is always good. Um, I, you know what I hate? I absolutely despise when, I, when the zombie moans and he gives off a different type of moan, like it's a male and he's moaning, and then all of a sudden the girlish moan comes from somewhere, and it sounds like it's coming in my left. Whoa! It sounds like it's coming in my left earphone, 
So I think it's behind me, when in actuality it's nowhere near me. It's actually just him, and the sound audio is getting a little messed up. So it makes me turn around and panic, hoping that there's no zombie behind me. That could end up getting me killed eventually, too. Especially if he bites me or something, he turns into a crawler, maybe grabs my ankle, bites me while I turn around and look. It's, uh, it's, a, it's uh, something I do worry about. We don't need sheets, I don't know why I'm grabbing them. We're fine for now. And this area, too, is nice and quiet. I'm liking it. Not a lot over here. We're feeling pretty safe. I feel like we can do a lot. So that's good. I'm a little nervous, but let's pop inside. I should have probably waited to see if there was an alarm. There's a zombie over there, too. Broken window. Not going to risk it. I risked it a couple times before, and it's gotten me killed, so I'm not going to bother. We'll do a little bit more exploration, and then we're going to start making our way back home. We're really far... I need to get back, and I don't know exactly how to get back. We're going to end up getting lost, I think. But I do want to check this a couple more buildings with just a glimmer of hope that we're going to get what we want or need. Sprinting is, what, halfway? Come on, no second alarm. We're good, we're good. I'll take the dog food. Nothing in here. This was garbage. This was unfortunately a gigantic waste of my time. Alright, it's time to start heading back, I think. Because it's going to take us the entire day to get back, probably. And then we'll go exploring in a different direction next time we need to go out. I just want to get back. I mean, we have... We don't have an amazing amount of food. Well, we'll see if we can loot some, some buildings on the way back. Let's put it that way. I just feel like I need to get back. I just hey, We're so far away, and I don't like going far away. I always feel uh, that the further away we get, the more in danger we are. When in reality, that's not the case at all. I just want to get back and put the stuff that I found away so I know that my loot is safe. Even if I'm not, I, for some reason, I feel like I need my loot to be safe. As if that effing matters in single player. Um, I was in here, right? Yeah, yeah. I think this is where, this is where I spend the night, I think. Let's swing up this way and see what we can... Oh, wait, there was already... Yeah, 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 that's the alarm went off. I can't believe I'm already, like, losing track of where I was. But we might be able to sneak into this house right here. So long as no alarm goes off anyway, we should be able to. Down, boy. Nice. We'll definitely kill zombies that start wandering towards us. We do have a spare bat in our bag, so it's not like I need to spare the amount of swings we have. On top of it, the bat's doing pretty well, durability-wise. I don't even think it's half dead yet. If it is, no, not even close. It's only like 26 or 7% dead, so plenty of time. Really, really crossing my fingers and hoping that we're going to find like something useful on these bodies. Granted, the chances are low, but I promise it's worth checking because you just never, you just never know. All right, let's see what happens. Looks like we're good. Come on. Get this in and out. We'll even grab some seeds. You never know when we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna start gardening. Eventually, I'd like to garden, obviously, if we have the opportunity to do so. Anyway, nothing in here. Nothing over here. I don't think beta blockers. I'll absolutely take those. The good thing about a big house is that there's more things to loot, so there's a higher chance that we're gonna find the things that we want and or need. Farming for beginners. I will happily steal that off the shelf. Let's go see what's upstairs. Okay. Good. Nothing. Come on, these have a chance. God, a crowbar. I almost grabbed it. I was like, oh, crowbar, that's excellent. No, oh, that thing's awful. It doesn't actually do anything useful yet. Maybe one day when we can implement it to pry open a window or something, that'll be nice. Or pry open a door. I think I just heard a gunshot. Hopefully it pulls them away. Painkillers, yes please. Crates, oh please. Please, please, please. God, don't tease me so. Don't tease me like that, you dirty hooker. You make me think one thing, but you, then you do another. It's not fair. We should break up. Oh, hey there. That's why I heard a, a moan so close. Down, boy. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, beat you into the ground. Moving on with our lives. Shed over there, I'm gonna wanna try and pop into so long as the zombie population over there isn't terrible. See if this alarm goes off. Doesn't look like it. She was already running towards us, so she wasn't really a good key as to whether the alarm was going off or not. But uh, the reason I said probably not is I didn't see any zombies immediately crossing. Alright, we're going to go ahead and grab all of that. That's actually a super good find. I'm a, I, just, I should keep an eye out behind me. I'm a little nervous. Let's go ahead and pop this in the top bag because the bottom bag is full, but the top bag's not even close. Go ahead and pop that in there. Another big house, so that's promising. Or could be promising. Don't want to count your chickens before they hatch, as they say in the old country. Whoever lives in the old country now, I'm so sorry. I wish you the best and hope you get out of there at some point. Also, what are you doing having a computer? Then again, apparently people in the old country are Amish, according to me, so... Who knows? Alright. Nothing. Uh, what was that? Sleeping tablets? Sure. Very low chance of them ever being useful, but you never know. In another house that has been rendered useless. But there is a chance that this shred... This shred... Could hold our, uh, went a little Sean Connery there, oh, Sean Connor. A shred here could potentially hold our hammer and nails. Come on, baby. Give you like two more chances. One, oh, see, look at that. They're not coming this way. These things do have a chance to have an alarm on them, which is why I look. You just never know anymore. Oh, yeah, we got one of them. Beautiful. One of the things we needed. Fuck that house, just because there's so many zombies over there in the house that don't have an alarm. I think we're slowly making our way back, too, so that's good. Down, girl. Nice. One shot, one kill. This one is for sale? I don't think so. There's no for sale sign. Nice, beautiful flower bed, though. Just look at the flowers, Jimmy. Just look at the flowers. Just say, look at the flowers, Mathis. Alright, an alarm. Oh, hey there, pal. And they are all making their way over. So F this, and let's move. Hopefully that'll pull them away from that house down there, though, and we can actually make use of this alarm. How's our sprinting doing? Over half, so that's good. Maybe in, like, three or four more videos. Really, dude? Alright, you know what? I'll kill you. It's getting late. I'm probably gonna end up crashing in one of these houses. Nothing. You guys suck. You all suck. Zombies in the other playthrough were better than you, and I like them a lot better. So F yourselves. Close this. Close curtains. Yeah, I see you. Okay, let's speed up time. We'll crash here. And hope for the best in the morning. Good enough for me. Good enough for me, good enough for three, baby. Mmm, that makes no sense. Yeah, Matt, that's knocking them out. One by one. Good shit. You got the sayings to bring up the ladies. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with me. Bro Force, man. America. That's all I got. That's all I got. America, Bro Force. Alright, let's, uh. Go ahead and speed that up. Let's see if we can get in the house that had an alarm spewing from it. So, this is obviously where it was, because the front door's closed, but the window is open. We got one zombie over here. We'll kill him. Down. Down, boy, down. Let's eat some food. Eat all the raw corn for breakfast. Corn actually doesn't give you any nutrition whatsoever, just comes out your ass when it's done traveling through your body. It's a good cleaning for your intestines, though, in case you didn't know. Now you know. Cleans out your intestines very nicely. The shell, the casing around the corn itself. Whatever you call it, the skin around the corn, rather. 
We'll definitely take some whiskey. I could store some water in that. More bullets. Dry ramen. And, wow, these people are drinkers. Well, at least they went out happy. I'll definitely take cooking for beginners. I think I already have it, but hey. I have such a habit of putting everything in my bottom bag and coming to realize. I keep having to stop myself or having to redo it because there's no room in my bottom bag. Not that it really matters. Just, oh, yeah, two of the three things we wanted, though that doesn't really help too much, five nails. But we can now cannibalize at least one or two doors and make use of them. Which is a win in my book. More bullets. Now I'm, now I'm tempted to just keep on exploring if we're going to be this lucky. Uh, nothing here. Nothing here. Okay, cool. Well, I can't even be mad at this house, really. It gave me all kinds of presents. Let's pop the back door, too, though. Because I'm I, you're more readily going to see that door than this one. Just because of the way everything's laid out. And the way the screen and the isometric view and all that goodness. Alright, we could mm, hopefully check this house out now. Now, I probably don't need to pry this door open, but I'm going to. Just in case there's an alarm. Because zombies, for whatever reason, don't set off alarms. Yeah, they're banging. I can hear it. The audio's getting cut a little bit, but... I'm a little nervous. I don't know where the banging's coming from. I'm assuming it's that door. Let's just grab things and leave. Okay. Hopefully not get bitten. Good. Moving kind of quietly. Well, trying to. But not, not, again, not that it matters. I don't know if I want to go upstairs and risk it or not. I probably should. Hopefully that door will hold for a while. Unless it's coming from up here. I don't think it is, though. I mean, there's a possibility. And that possibility is always, always, always real. Just gotta be more careful. Well, I feel like I'm moving a little bit quicker than I should. Whoop. Should have backed up there first. I had my swing at the ready. Alright, let's get out of here. My guess is the zombie crashed through that window and is now banging on that door to get out. Let's get the hell out. I don't even want to bother. You know what? Let's go out the front door, too. Get me out of there. I don't like it. I don't like being in the same house as a zombie. Makes me uneasy. I'm just going to hit up this entire neighborhood as best I can, though. Beautiful, untouched neighborhood. Hey, what? Don't eat. Oh, God, the zombie back here with blood. She hit the, the, she hit the family dog. That's my guess, anyway. She deserved to die there. Good old Fido. Now in her belly -o. Bingo was his name -o. All right, let's see what we got. I probably shouldn't have dived in like that. I should have waited to see if an alarm went up, but I told you my brain is not exactly in the right spot right now. I'm all about the action. The bro force in action. Nothing. Really? No food whatsoever? Damn. Getting a little spoiled there with the past few houses. Let's see if we got anything upstairs worth sneaking and snitching out of here. Probs not. Hello? Nothing. The backpack would have been exciting at one point in my life. Alright, we'll wrap this episode up here then. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, come back tomorrow and leave a like. It helps out a bunch. I will see you tomorrow for more Project Zomboid. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.